Hello students, in this video we'll introduce three-dimensional Euclidean space. Three-dimensional Euclidean space is the set, which we'll denote as R for a real number, cubed for three dimensional of all points x, y, and z, such that x, y, and z are real numbers. So three-dimensional Euclidean space is a set of all ordered triples. This is the set of all ordered, the order matters here, triples. We can geometrically visualize Euclidean space as we do with two-dimensional Euclidean space. But I'll put things at a tilt to give us some perspective. Let's say that this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. So we're used to the x-y plane. So the x-y plane lies right there. And now I'll add one more dimension that's perpendicular to the x-y plane. And we'll call this the z-axis. That's the negative z-axis. Over here will be the positive z-axis. And these are the negative z-axis. This part over here is the positive x. And this x over here is the positive y. We can plot points in three-dimensional space. If I want to plot, for example, the point. 1, 2, 3, I would only need to plot the positive x-axis, positive y-axis, and positive z-axis. So let's look at that. Here's my positive y-axis. Here's my positive x-axis. I'm looking at part 1 eighth of three-dimensional space. There's the positive z-axis. I'll go over one unit on the x-axis. I'll go up two units on the y-axis. That would put us to this point over here. This would be the point just in the xy plane, 1, 2, and then no heights, 0. And then what we'll do is we'll go up from this three units, 1, 2, 3. That's z equals 3. And that's the point 1, 2, 3. Now we can notice that these things have corresponding lengths. So this length over here is a length of 1. This length over here is a length of 2. And this length over here is a length of 3. So that's how we plot points in Euclidean space. Now, if we have points where there are negative components, it becomes more difficult to plot points because you have to look at different perspectives. But let's talk about some of these classifications of these regions. So if we draw three-dimensional space, there's our three-dimensional space, our x-axis, y-axis, and our z-axis. If we look at points over here, points where we have positive, 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 that's going to be called the first octant because there are eight of these octants. Then if we look at, if we go over here, where we have x being positive, and then y being, ne uh, x being negative, rather. So x is negative over here. So we look at the negative values of x. So if we have negative values of x, positive values of y, and positive values of z, that's going to be the second octant. Then, if we look at negative values of x, negative values of y, and positive values of z, that will be the third octant. If we're over here, if we look at positive values of x, negative values of y, and positive values of z, that's the fourth octant. So what we're doing is we're going around, we're making a rotation in terms of numbering the octants, which is anti-clockwise. Now, when z is negative, I keep all of these signs the same. And I put z being negative, I'll have the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth octant. So three-dimensional Euclidean space can be put into eight different octants. Now, we should note remark. We can project points in R3 onto the 
xy plane, the xz plane, and the yz plane. For example, if we want to look at the projection onto the xy plane, well, here's the x, we can look at this picture over here. Here's the xy plane. If I was to take this point and project it down onto the xy plane, we'll see we'll get the following relationship. So the xy plane projection will take a point x, y, z and project it onto the point x, y, 0, where there's now no height. And there are similar formulas for the, different, for the other projections. For example, if we want to look at the projection on the x, z plane, I would take x, y, z to x, 0, z, where I zero out y. So projections will be very important in this course. And so it's useful to think about what projections are in the context of these coordinate points in the coordinate geometry. Thank you very much.